Good morning, good morning everybody. It is Tuesday and I drastically need a haircut. I'm going to be getting my haircut this Thursday at Westside Barber over by the Mac. I am so excited about this, about getting my haircut. I just don't like long hair. And uh, <laughs> I've actually combed my hair like five times this morning. And uh, unless I use glue, it's just not going to stay down. Anyway, just killing some time there. <laughs> All right, so um, it's not coming on if you can see this. What's not, I'm not sure what's not coming on. Okay, I'm not sure what's not coming on, Sue, Susa, Susie. All right, so anyway, let's get started, guys. We're doing our, our um, at home workout this morning. I'm going to be doing push-ups, rows, and some core. Liz Dice is on. Hey, Susie, let me know if you can see me now. Give me like a, yeah, I can see you type comment. Uh, anytime I'm ready. Yeah, I'm, I'm ready, Liz and Mark Dice. Are you guys ready? Are you really ready? So uh, anytime I'm ready, I'm ready. So uh, today's workout is going to be, it's called the push-up, rows, and core. Um, we're going to do a little warm up and then we're going to get right into it because there's a lot of stuff to show you and I want to make sure you can do it correctly and I'm going to give you some modifications. Um, since Susie's already replied or commented earlier that um, she can't do a sideline single arm push up, but I'm going to show you a way to, that everybody can do this and that's my job is to help you guys find a way you can do it. All right, take your time. I'm taking my time. Thanks, Liz. <laughs> All right. So here we go. Let's start with some squats. Um, hands interlocked behind the head. We're going to go 10 reps. So coming down and coming back up 10 times. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. All right, so this time you're going to do a side step lunge and bring the hands down. Bring the hands and the arms back up to here and then go the other way. So get a nice stretch in the adductor. Open up the chest. Let's get that 10 times. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Nine and ten. All right, now you're gonna do a step back lunge, and the step back lunge is just like what it says it is. If I step back, the knee's going towards the floor. I like to put a towel there, and then when you're down, the arms are up and they come back to here. So let's do let's go eight repeaters. One, two, three. Four, five, six, seven, eight. Switch legs, same thing, other side. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. All right, next. We're going to go into the easy push up into a stretch. Get some of my stuff out of the way here. So, if you guys don't have a five gallon bucket full of water, uh, maybe you can use a dumbbell instead for some of the exercises we'll be doing today. But I'm doing a warm up right now, push up into a stretch. So, pressing back, get that stretch, get a nice calf stretch, warming the upper body up. One of my favorite warm-up exercises to do. See, I do these quite a bit. Doing 10 reps. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. Good. All right, let's go. Uh, Let's do those one more time through. So we'll go squats, we'll do side steps, 
with the pullback arms, we'll do a step back lunge, the arms coming up, we'll do a push-up stretch. Hands interlock behind your head. Let's go to 10 reps. One, keep the elbows pulling back. Two, three, big range here. Four, five, nice tall torso. Six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. Side stepping. Surround the knee joint when you come down with the hands. This leg is straight and pushing the knee back. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. So this time I'm going to go alternate step back lunge. Pull my arms up over the head when I come in down. Here we go. One, switching legs every time. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Go back to your push up stretch. Here you go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Good. So if you wanted to do another round of those, you could if you don't feel like you're warmed up. Um, Who's on? We got Lorena. We got Kurt Jody again. Nice. Thanks for joining this morning. So now, guys, what I want to do, if you wanted to do that warm-up another time through, you could. If you're going back to view this at a later time. Um, you can even do it right now while I'm talking. But what we're going to do next is the push-up section. And we're going to do regular push-ups. So now I put a time limit on the exercises. So I have no idea how many reps you're going to get in 45 seconds. Um, and they're not meant to go real fast. I mean, you want to stay slow and controlled and do a good quality push-up, full range, with either your knees on the ground or the knees off the ground, keeping your head still, stabilizing the core, stiff core, not letting that lower back arch. So there's a lot of things going on with the push-up, as you know, um, hopefully you know. So push-ups, we're gonna do regular push-ups. We're doing a single arm sideline push-up, which will be interesting to see what that looks like. And then we got a pike push-up. So let's start with the regular push-up first. Ah, Chrissy fingers on. Good morning, Chrissy. Good to see you. Hopefully you are doing this with us. So I'm gonna do a the regular push-up first for 45 seconds. And you guys are welcome to join me. Tucking my shirt in, either knees down or knees will come up. When you do the push-up, we're going for 45 seconds. Keep the elbows kind of tucked in. And you guys ready? Let's get ready here. I should have brought my stopwatch out. All right, ready? Set and begin. Whoops, hang on, sorry, I just hit the wrong button. Ready, set and begin. All right, so I got 30, all right? And then now I'm gonna go into the sideline next. So I wasn't going real fast, so I did wanna mention this to you guys. Something I didn't put on the sheet. If you're a beginner, maybe you just wanna do this one time through. Uh, and then you have the option of going two times through or maybe three times through. So it depends on what you're able to do and uh, what your fitness level's like. Another way to do this, guys, if I go straight through, a lot easier. If I just do the push-ups, uh, 
two or three times through, that's going to get really, really tough because now you're not letting those muscles relax um, by going to back and then going to core. But I'm just going to go through each one uh, one time and then go through the whole thing again. So let's look at the sideline side line push up now. So if I'm on my side, I'm going to be using the top this top arm. So I'm going to be working a lot of this tricep here. And if I just press up here and then come back down, that's one way to do it, right? So I'm going to use this arm here, the top arm. The hand is, is like setting right underneath the tricep of this arm, really close to the body. And, you know, I come all the way up and then come back down. All right, so that's one way you could do it. That's actually the toughest way. The other way to do it, guys, is you could actually press into the ground with this arm and help yourself up. So I'm actually using this arm, but I'm usually mainly using this arm. So you can press up and then come back down. So that way it becomes a lot easier, a lot more doable. So the object is to see if you can get 45 seconds of that movement. You stay right on your side. So remember the first way is I hold on and I'm using that arm solely. The second option is to press into the ground with that elbow and you're using, but still trying to focus on using this arm, okay? So let's go 45 seconds, which is gonna be really tough for me to see. I'm gonna take my watch off here so I can see the time. So, let me get this going here really quick. Bad management on my time, here we go. All right, you guys ready? 45 seconds, so many reps you can get, quality reps. Ready, set, and begin. Come on. 18. Oh my god, 21. Alright, let's see if I can get 21 on the other side. Flip it over. Oh wow. That's, that's a good one. Yeah, I like it. Honestly, that's like, you know, I practiced some of those. I didn't do 45 seconds. It's my practice, so pretty fatigued from doing that. Ready for the other side? It's going to be right here, remember? Set and go. on each side that was really tough the uh, triceps are fatigued even like the chest on that as well some fatigue in there now we're doing the pike push-up so the next one is called the pike push-up a lot of versions of this guy so you could actually do uh, you can go from you can do this one from your your knees as an option where I'm coming down this way and coming back up the second option is to be right here in like a downward dog position and lowering your head to the ground. There's another even more challenging position than that where you could walk your feet up on the wall and be in that type of pipe position. It's almost like you're doing a shoulder press. Um, but I'll be very cautious with the one on the wall because you've got to have extremely strong arms. You don't want to come down and buckle your head on the ground there. So. Either go from your knees or your knees off the ground in that pike position. Uh, 
probably because we're doing 45 seconds. So unless you're extremely strong, then I would do the one on the wall. But let's see what I can do. I'm gonna go in the pipe position with, in a downward dog position for 45 seconds. You guys ready? So remember, now what I'm doing here is I'm coming down, barely touching my forehead to the ground, and then back up. You can do the same maneuver from your knees, okay? A lot easier to do it from the knees. 45 seconds, choose the right method for you. Ready, or level is a better way to say that. Set, and begin, here we go. I got 20 of those, 45 seconds time. So now, so here's what you could do guys, if you didn't catch that before, I would go back, if you're more advanced, what I would do is go back and do that whole push up section again. Maybe sh shake out the arms a little bit and you go back and do that whole push up section again. That would be really, really tough, especially because the, uh, the arms are fatigued from doing it one time through. Good morning, Bart Kennedy's on. Does that mean you're actually doing this with me, Dr. Kennedy? What a what an honor to have Bart, <laughs> Dr. Kennedy on this morning. Uh, I'm wearing the Aggie colors for you, Bart. Anyway, so you get the idea. Now I'm gonna go ahead and go to, to the rows next to show you how you would do the row section. So we've got a lot of different rows here to do. So I like, I love the, the chair and the bar. And then again, I cannot break this bar. And that's the type of bar you would want for your chair row. If you have the luxury, like some of some other individuals, they've got strap in their garage, like a TRX strap. This is like the inverted row is basically what this is, but it is a type of row, and you could do this from a, with a TRX. Um, there's a lot of different straps out there. I don't have one of those, so that's why I'm using this. So I'm gonna go overhand grip, which is my hands are like this. Underhand grip will be the next version. And so that'll be in the rows. This is gonna to be tough back to back. So I'm gonna try 45 seconds with the hands overhand position. A little windy today. So let's get ready here. 45 seconds. I'll just have to kind of keep peeking up my watch this way. I need, a, I need like an official timer out here. So remember when you're doing the row, guys, is that, first of all, is make sure that the bar is in the middle of the chairs, the hands are right up against the edge of the chair, and I like to do a, come up and load it just a little bit, make sure those chairs are going to stay still, and I'm going to do that movement right there. So 45 seconds on that overhand row. Ready? Set, and begin. Here we go. We got five seconds. Time. Good. So, overhand position, getting a lot of your upper back and your shoulder blades. Now we're going to flip it around. You're going to be able to use your bicep a little bit more and uh, still getting the upper back and the lats. I'm going to rest here just a little bit, let my arms shake out or recover a little bit. And, uh, I'm gonna to attempt to do another 45 seconds. 
So when you rest on this one uh, during a set, you just want to set your butt down, that'll be good. Maybe if you're strong enough and you've got good enough endurance, you can just hang and rest and not set your butt down. I'm going to try to do that version. Uh, this is going to be really tough, I can already tell, because I'm already fatigued. But that's part of the game. That's why I set up this way. It wasn't by mistake I set this up this way. 45 seconds inverted hand position. Ready, set, go. seconds. Ooh. All right, time. Yeah, that got to be really tough. Didn't do them as well as I wanted to, but that's okay. So that was exercise number one and number two on the rows. Now you can do a single arm row for number three. If you've got a dumbbell, that would be great. Um, let's say you don't have a dumbbell. You could use a bucket a big five gallon bucket row which I've got over here and uh, so you've got your regular dumbbell and you don't have a bench you need to get into a split stance then you would do your dumbbell row right here okay let's say you don't have a dumbbell well you could fill up your three dollars your three dollars and seventy five cent a bucket of water which is this is 25 pound dumbbell this is about a 30 pound when you fill it up um, and then because of the height I would say get maybe stand up on a chair hold one hand here and then do that this way but see how flat my back is so that's the important thing is that you always put, put your position put your back in a position where it's nice and flat. Don't round it. Stay here. So we'll let him use a dumbbell or a bucket. I'm going to use the bucket just because it's different. And uh, we'll do 45 seconds. 45 seconds on each side. You guys doing this with me, right? Bart, you're doing this with me, right? Let's go, Dr. Kennedy. All right. I'm going to start it and then at the 10 second mark. Ten seconds. Time. Woo. Beautiful. So I'm going to switch sides, reset the watch, and then we'll do the other side. Same thing on the side. I'm going to go ahead and start my watch. I'll start at the ten second mark. One benefit of this thing is you got to bring it out a little bit, which makes it tougher that arcing motion to going out. And my abs are working like crazy here, too. So it's not just back you're working, your core is having to work, too. 
and you're really pulling that elbow in as you come up. Five seconds, come on. Time. Yeah, good ones. So now, get this over here out of the way. Amazing what you can do at your own house with uh, without having nice equipment that you would have at the Mac. And uh, by the way, we're opening up. The Mac is open up on the 23rd of May. It's a Saturday. Hope to see you guys there. So anyway, that was number three. Now we're going to face down, two arm reach, 45 seconds. So if you have some really light dumbbells, you could use those here. Um, the other thing that just getting into the right position on this, guys, is is really important. So let me show you that really quick here. Move this step out of the way. So I lay down in this position now. My forehead is on this towel. I'm actually gonna kind of give my back. Remember that? And then from here, I'm just gonna go up and down for 45 seconds which for me will probably be about 50 reps so keep your keep your pelvis here lower my stomach is not touching the ground my pelvis is but not my stomach then my arms are straight i'm going to go up and down for 45 seconds i brought the five pound weights but i'm not using those for this that'll be way too hard and i'll do it incorrectly so are you ready? Set and go. Keep those arms straight. Seconds. Woo. Three, two, one, time. Shoot. I would not have been able to do that with the five pound weights. Forty five seconds is a great posture thing, so. Your pelvis is tucked. I haven't you brought my knees off the ground. My feet were still on the ground. So now we're going to do the same thing, but your arms out to the side. So the first one was here, up and down little movements. And now we're going to go out to the side, up and down. Really good for posture here. I'm not using a sponge for this either. So now I'm going to go right into it here. Tuck the pelvis. Knees come up, pelvis is down. I'm going to come up and down this way. So you don't need weights, guys. Stay strong. Keep it tight, 45 seconds. Start in three, two, one, go. You can hold some water bottles. Water bottles would be about right for me on this one. seconds to go. And time. Holy smoke. So yeah, if you do those right guys, those are really tough. So that takes us through the push-ups and the core. Man, my back of my shoulders are just lit up right now. I don't know about you guys, but if you do those for 45 seconds, those are really tough. They're really good for posture. Now we're going to move the core. So we got flutter kicks, we got a side plank, we got a regular plank. So the flutter kicks for 45 seconds, side plank 45 seconds per side, and then we got plank after that. So don't need any weights for this. So this is the core section. You're going to lay on your back. And what you want to do, guys, here is while you're on your back 
with your head down, your shoulder blades down, and I'm gonna roll my pelvis again so now my back flattens. Some of you will need to bring your legs up this high and then stay in tight right here. The lower you get, the tougher it's gonna to be to keep that lower back stabilized because this is a stabilization exercise for your trunk, all right? Keep your head down, don't lift it up, don't strain your neck. Keep the resistance right in the scary here. 45 seconds. Ready, set, go. 45 seconds, straight leg, little flutter kicks. Keep this area tight. Draw the navel, the belly button in. Don't let that lower back arch. 10 down. Twenty seconds down. Stay tight. Keep your head down. Keep the lower back down. Keep your legs straight. Thirty seconds down. Fifteen to go. Five seconds left. And time. Whew. That was good. So now. I'm going to put this where my feet are for the side plank and uh, just so I've got a little bit more cushion on the back sides of my feet. So remember your, your options for a side plank guys is the first option is right here. You can have that knee down, you have the forearm down, give myself a little more padding here. So it could be right here. So level one right here, level two straight leg, level three is now going to lift up and stay right here okay so I'm gonna go level three because I know I can do that I really like this exercise getting the obliques and uh, side make sure the elbow is right underneath the shoulder and make sure your upper torso is in neutral position so it'll be like this try to open up the chest 45 seconds ready set whoops <laughs> and begin so stay right here. I would like to put the lower, uh, my hand lower back, pull back, shoulder blade back, stay right here, nice and stiff. Stiff core, even pull your chin in. Everything's lined up here. Keep your legs straight, like a perfectly built statue in this position. 30 seconds down, 15 to go. Five, four, three, two, and one. Good. So I'm gonna switch sides. Place this down here. It's good to have some cushion. You don't wanna hurt your arm or anything like that. So, switching sides. 45 seconds the other side. Reset my watch here. I need a better timing system. All right, ready, set, and begin. Hand behind the lower back. Holding right here, chin's tucked in. Ten down. Nice and stiff core here. Let your hips sag towards the floor. Keep them up. 20 seconds to go. What the heck? Five seconds. It's a lot in the shoulder here, too. And time. It's failing on me that time. So now we're going to go regular plank. You can do a regular plank from your knees. You can do it with your knees off. Um, again, the, the, mace, the most important thing, guys, when you're doing planks is to be in a perfect position. Otherwise, the plank is going to be really bad for you. You're actually doing more harm than good. I see people doing planks all the time. Their head's like this. Their shoulder blades are arched back. and You know, you want to stay in the best possible position, position that you can 
Otherwise, like I said, you're just teaching your body to hold bad positions. And the whole idea is not just to work the core, but to work it correctly. So, 45 second plank. I'm going to get into a position. I like to go with my hands like this on the ground. And I don't want to have here, and I don't want to be here. I want to be neutral. And I don't want to be here. I don't want to be totally tucked underneath. I want to be neutral. My head doesn't want to be here. It wants to be pulled back. It's neutral. So a lot of things to think about when you do the, the plank correctly. All right? All right, you guys ready? So again, picking up. Set. And begin. So you can do this with your knees down, like I mentioned. Keep your head looking right at the floor. Keep everything really in a neutral position. If you're not sure if you're in neutral, maybe you need to videotape yourself and see what you look like right from the side. Like I'm videotaping myself, I'll be able to go back and look what my position looked like. 20 seconds to go. I'm not looking up, I'm not looking, I'm just looking right in between my hands, focusing on my core, staying nice and stiff and tight, even tightening the glutes. Time. All right, so what time is it? It is now 10.06. I'm going to go ahead and end the workout there. Um, since it's been about 36 minutes, I don't want to lead, lead you on astray here watching me being bored with me doing the workout but uh now you've got the idea and as i mentioned just to summarize we got push-ups we got rows we got core you can go through the whole thing one time and be done with it like we just did you could go through it another time through and you can go through it a third time if you want now the way to a really tough way to do this as i said in the beginning is you just do the push-ups over and over and over so if i go through the push-ups one time then take a break do it again Take a break, do it again, do it, and then that would be really tough to do that. Now, in between the exercise of push-ups, you could rest a little bit in between before you go to the single. Either way, you're not going to be able to do any reps at all. But you got the idea. So that would be the really, really, really tough way to do this. So, guys, hopefully you enjoyed the workout. Um, let's see if you can do them. And, and hey, let me know in the comments below if you liked it or not. How do you like the single arm? And all those kind of things. So anyway, thanks for watching, guys. We got Eric on. We got Melissa. We got. It's hard to see because I'm in the sunlight. But anyway, have a great day. God bless you guys. See you on tomorrow's Wednesday. See you then. Bye bye.